Hi friends, here in this video, we'll see a problem on chain drive. For that, here is the question. A chain drive is used for reduction of speed from 240 RPM to 120 RPM. The number of teeth on the driving sprocket is 20. Find the number of teeth on the driven sprocket. If the PCD of the driven sprocket, that is the pitch circle diameter, is 600 mm, and center to center distance between the two sprockets is 800 mm. Determine the pitch and the length of the chain. So this is the question in front of us. Now whatever is given here, I'll read the question once again step by step and write it in the form of data. Let's get started. In the data, first I'll mention the type of drive, either it is belt drive or chain drive. Given in the problem is chain drive. So the type is chain drive. Next, it is used for reduction of speed from 240 RPM. It means 240 RPM is the speed of the driving sprocket and that I'll denote it as N1. To 120 RPM, which is the speed of the driven sprocket, that is N2. The number of teeth on the driving sprocket is 20. So for the driving sprocket, the suffix is 1. Number of teeth, it is denoted as T1 on the driving sprocket. Then the question is, find the number of teeth on the driven sprocket. That is denoted as T2. Then, if the PCD of the driven sprocket, driven sprocket would be denoted as D2, so its PCD would be denoted by D2, that is 600 mm. And center to center distance between the sprockets is 800 mm, denoted by letter X. Now the question is to determine the pitch and the length of the chain. So we have to find out how much is the value of pitch and the length of chain. So these are the questions in front of us. Now, the first question is to find T2. And for that, N1, N2 and T1 are given. It means I'll be using the formula for velocity ratio. So into the solution part, since velocity ratio for chain drive is given by N2 upon N1 is equal to inverse proportion of diameter, that is D1 by D2 and even the inverse proportion of number of teeth which is T1 by T2. Now, since we have to calculate T2, so we'll keep T2 on one side. So it becomes N1 T1 divided by N2. N1 is given as 240, T1 20, N2 is 120, so from this, the answer of T2, it comes out to be 40. The first answer. Next, once I have calculated the value of T2 here, I'll also go for the calculation of D2 from the same formula, same concept. So therefore, D2 is equal to D1 into T2 divided by T1 and now when I look into this problem the value of D2 has already been given so we can find D1 from here so I'll be putting the values that is D2 is 600 D1 is what we have to calculate T2 value is 40 T1 is 20 so from this the answer of d1 it comes out to be that is 300 mm now once d1 d2 the values are known i can go for the formula of pitch because pitch contains the relation between pitch and pitch circle diameter and d1 d2 both are known even the number of teeth of driving and driven sprockets are known so we can use any one of them 
I'll write the formula that since the relation between pitch and pitch circle diameter for we can use any one I'm using driven sprocket you can even use the driving sprocket so it is d2 is equal to pitch into cosec 180 degree divided by t2 I'm using the formula for the driven sprocket therefore d2 d2 value was given it was 600 pitch into cosec 180 degree divided by t2 which was 40 the number of teeth on the driven sprocket so finally pitch comes out to be 47.08 mm that's the second answer and now we have to calculate the length of chain for that I'm using the formula that length of chain is given by pitch into k which is multiplication factor I'll be keeping this as the first equation now writing the formula for k that is the multiplication factor since the multiplication factor is given by k is equal to t1 plus t2 number of teeth on driving and driven sprocket divided by 2 plus 2m plus into bracket cosec 180 degree divided by t1 minus cosec 180 degree divided by t2 the whole square divided by 4m now this m for that I'll explain it here since x the center distance is denoted as m into pitch so therefore m becomes x upon pitch x value center to center distance given in the problem that is 800 mm pitch we have found out it is 47.08 so from that I am getting the value of m and it comes out to be it is 16.99 and this m value is a constant and I have explained about this into my previous derivation where I have derived the length of chain now I'll just go on putting the values in this formula of k so we have t1 value is 20 t2 is 40 plus 2m plus into bracket cosec 180 divided by t1 minus cosec 180 degree divided by t2 which is 40 the whole square divided by 4 into m which is 16.99 so this first term is 30 the second term 33.98 plus into bracket cosec of the first term is 6.39 minus cosec of the second term 12.75 whole square divided by the denominator which is 67.96 so on calculating this I'll be getting the answer of k as 64.58 and this 64.58 can be rounded off to 65 an integer value next after this I'll say that therefore put pitch and k in equation 1 so therefore the length of the chain will be equal to pitch we have found out it was 47.08 and k value is 65 so I am getting the length of chain as 3060 0.2 mm or we can say that is 3.06 meters so that's the third answer now when we look into this problem the questions were 
we had to find T2, the number of teeth on the driven sprocket, and it came out to be 40 mm. The number of teeth, it is, it is 40, just 40 because it is a number, it won't be in terms of mm. Then pitch, it is 47.08 mm. And finally the length of chain, which came out to be 3.06 meter. And with that, the problem gets completed.